Howdy folks. I hope everyone is doing okay. It is Tuesday, I believe, right? It's Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Um, tonight, we are... Sheep Ping worked? Wait, did Sheep Ping actually work? Hold on. Oh, it did. Okay, nice. Uh, howdy, everyone. I hope all of you are doing well. We are playing another bundle game tonight. Since I've just started kind of doing that on... Tuesdays. Sup, Chucklefuck? How fucking dare you? Also, hi. Hope all of you are doing well. Um, this is called Lonely People Potion Shop. I have no idea a lot. Uh, I have no idea what it's about. I, I read the blurb. It might be kind of text heavy. So, might have a, might have a lot of narration tonight. But uh, yeah, it looked it looked interesting. It looked like a fun thing that'll probably be done in like one to three hours. So let's just get right into it. We don't really have a don't really have a lot of time. It sure, sounds text heavy. Yeah, but you know what? It'll be fine. Every once in a while, we deserve uh, I deserve uh, punishment for having vocal cords. So <laughs> let's give it a shot, huh? Uh, let me actually move some junk around here. Oh shit! Hold on. I forgot to start recording. All right, now I'm now I'm recording. Let me. Uh, this might also might be loud as fuck because I haven't tested the volume because I'm running late today. I went grocery shopping. Um, it's fucking. Oh god. Okay, hold on. The game is starting. Oh, I can full screen it. Can I like actually full screen it? I can't actually full screen it. Hold up. Uh, oh, oh. Please tell me if this works. Oh, does it have a full screen setting? Oh my god, this game is already like leagues above so many things. Also, it's not that loud. That might be fine. Hopefully we can futz with it inside the uh, actual game. Once again, we are presented with another game with a hand, just like a night out. A night out was super short, but... So yes, Lonely People Potion Shop, but let's just get into it. I don't know what to expect from this game. Select to save. Oh, that one. Choose color your save. There is no orange. I'm gonna pick green. I like green. Oh. Click to advance text. You can also use spacebar. My spacebar is very loud, so I will not be doing that. You can access the menu from the bottom right. Oh, it's right there. No orange, literally unplayable. <laughs> the game saves automatically. Sometimes you might get to choose what to say next, but no worries. You can explore all the options that are green. Choosing a purple one makes you proceed. Oh, one thing more. Please don't try these potion recipes at home. <laughs> okay, I'll do my best. Let's begin. Three. Oh, heart. I thought it was a countdown. Somewhere deep inside the magical forest, forgotten, lies a small wooden hut. A potion shop. Colored clouds ooze from the windows and cracks, surrounding that tiny place with smells of various kinds. Some are welcoming. Some are warm. Some bring up memories long lost. And sometimes a visitor comes by. A traveler of the distant lands. A customer! <laughs> Seeking for an adventure? A friend? A meaning? Whatever they have in mind. It's your job to pour them some potions. Alright. Day, day one. The shop opens. Ooh. I'm the, I'm the NPC store. I'm the little box that people look into when they buy shit. Sorry, taking a swig of my already cold tea. Hmm? Huh. Oh no. Did I ever sleep again? Uh. Think, think, think. Mmm. Mmm. No. Now you're thinking too much. <laughs> Stop before you summon the ghost of overthinking. What? This is just fantasy Valhalla? Fuck! I didn't mean to do that again. Ah! Okay. Oh, also, hold on. Let me, uh, let me move text a bit. I'm gonna move y'all off to the side a bit so that you are not 
Uh, hold on, someone, someone say something. People talk. I, I need you to, uh, to resize. I am allowing you to spam in this one moment. Food. Okay, hold on. Oh god. I don't actually think I can make you that small. This might be a, a chatless game. Um... Please wake up. <laughs> I've been in a coma for 13 years. Uh, hold on. Is it truly spam? Can I, like... Hmm. Is that even, like, legible, though? That's really small. That's, like, the smallest text. You know what? No chat today. Sorry, everyone. No chat. Very minimal game. Very... No chat. Goodbye. Okay. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my potion shop. Good morning, customers. Uh, hi. Welcome to my potion shop. Hmm. Anyone? 1984. <laughs> it's not literally 1984 because I'm putting chat away for now. I can still see you. Hello? There is no answer. I'm going to turn music up because I bet it's going to be good. It's just kind of quiet. There we go. Right. Should have guessed. No one's here. Again. <sighs> oh well. At least I can rest a little while before. Hello! <laughs> Who are you? What? You seem startled. Did you see a scary, um, ghost? Whoa. Real ghost? That'd be wild. Oh. It's just you, Ilaria. Of course. Ah. J just... Just me? What are you talking about? I'm your number one customer. I come here like... Uh... Every day? That's because you live here, Ilaria. <laughs> exactly. <sighs> well. It's at least good to see you here. I'm gonna grab your face. I was a little bit worried that someone would walk in <laughs> while I were still asleep. It's a bit hard to serve customers through the world of dreams. World of dreams? I haven't been there for a while. Although I must admit, when it comes to this shop, it really wouldn't make a difference. Were you asleep or not? The place is empty. Yeah. Unfortunately, they didn't teach this stuff back in the potion school. Would have been useful, really. Wait. Potion school? The potion school? Y yeah. So you really went there. Whoa. The old mysterious potion school. <laughs> yes, that one. Well, it felt like the only thing it had in common with potions was its name, really. Otherwise, it was pretty boring stuff. Herbalism, spices, flavors, Matt fooling around all day. <sighs> the debt. <laughs> but you got to brew them, right? Potions? Yeah, but nothing that special, really. Most of the recipes that I know today, I learned just by trying things out. Mixing and blending ingredients together, just to see what would happen. Hmm. Most of the time it wasn't anything that visible, of course. The end result was just... water. Well, it had a funny taste, at least. Ah, uh, yes, Minecraft potions. But nothing compared to the act the actually potions. Nothing compared to the actual potions I learned to make. I, I did read that there were some typos, so I apologize in advance. Nowadays, I know how to mix them better. And I can discover something more than just, well, water. Eh. And the potions you make are the best. <laughs> eh. But to be honest, I've never met anyone who can brew potions like you do. That's one of the reasons I decided to move here. Oh. Well, thank you, I guess. No problem. <laughs> so, speaking of potions, I think I'm getting a bit, um, thirsty here. Alright, what will you take? Mixing random things. This is how alchemists disappear. Uh, anything goes, really. Just gotta get the day started. Sure, I'll see what I can do. 
Oh shit, potion, gameplay, gameplay, gameplay. First pour in the base. Increases luck, restores health. Just the right amount of mana. Uh, I guess I get to pick one. Uh, you know what, here. Uh, that you can even use the same liquid twice. Ooh, super lucky. We'll do mana. Then choose the ingredient, okay. Howls and sour, flavors from nature. Sweet taste from the past. Um, we're gonna do it with the mountain herbs. Mix it with the spoon. Am I supposed to do this really fast, or am I not supposed to do this really fast? Is that a bad thing that I did? Oh. Herbal Sorcerer Potion! Is that, is that good? It looks good, I think. <laughs> I just thought I was making a funny joke when I said this was Valhalla, but it is. Alright, I hope you like it. Whoa! Sure looks tasty. <laughs> just throws up everywhere. Mmm. This is great. The taste of a potion. Oh. And there's herbs, too. I think they really enhance the... Um... Flavor? <laughs> what is it? Oh. A sorcerer potion. It doesn't have as much mana as the regular mana potion. But it's even better for spellcasters who prefer doing something risky. Like trying out new spells. Summoning a really terrifying elder beast. Or just... Well... Fool around, I guess. Eh. Like, you mean... Am I romancing this person? Just like I said, no one knows this stuff as well as you do. Not even the potion shop owners from the town. Oh, well... Which is... Uh... Odd. I would say. How so? Well, I mean... The place is real comfy. The potions are great. Yet still... It's always empty. Yeah. Well, that means more potions for me. Eh. Oh, but Valeria, I know that it's you who brings me all the ingredients. But we gotta keep some safe if a customer comes by. You can't drink at all. And speaking of ingredients... I know, I know. I'm going in a bit. I'll just... Um... Take one more before I go. Alright. What shall it be? Hmm... Maybe something that brings me luck? Could be really helpful. Especially today. Huh? I'm gonna pay a visit to the, um, nearby tavern. The Doorknob Tavern. I knew that there were some new people visiting. I could find something new useful there. Sure. I'll see what I can do. Luck potion, luck potion, luck potion. Luck! Luck! Uh, howls and sour flavors from nature. Sweet taste from the past. Can I, like, do multiple? Oh, well. Alrighty. I shall stir. Maybe I shouldn't stir as fast. I don't know if this actually has any effect on the potion. Lucky! Sweet potion of luck. That looks really lucky. I drink the fuck out of that. It looks delicious. All right, this should work. Thank you. I'll save it for the evening. But off I go. See you, potion witch. Uh huh. Take care, Laria. I'm not gonna say he he every time this game says he he, for I'm not good at saying that. Hmm. Well, Laria can sometimes be, well, Laria. Glad I met them. It's one of those autumn nights. The wind was blowing so hard <laughs> that the door was opening and closing all on its own. Thunder. Rain. Shadows. Darkness. And then, a creature came in. <laughs> that is a rude way to describe your friend. Closed the door, but with no luck, the door opened again immediately and slammed them to the ground. Give me a hee-hee reward option? Uh, no. Stretch time? Oh, fuck. Alright, everyone stretch. Everyone stretch. Everyone stretch your legs at least a little bit.
stretch your back. I am raising my hands to the sky. Ugh. I am cracking my back. You probably heard those cracks, actually. That was gross. I apologize. Those are my shoulders. That was for me fucking I'm being hunched over in the grocery store all day while everyone was just standing there going, maybe I want to buy something for Thanksgiving dinner, or maybe I just want to stand here and pick my nose. Anyway, I was so worried. Are you alright? I asked. But Alaria just laughed. A dancing door! <laughs> I haven't seen, um, anything like that before. And we both laughed. Hey guys, guess what? It's not a good idea to stream making food when most of the making is waiting for things to boil. I learned that the hard way when I streamed making, uh, bear claws. Here's the secret. Whenever there's stuff that you have to do to wait, it's good to have things to just talk about or stories. Cooking streams are rough. Cooking streams are really hard to do. I've been told one of the positions I... I will idly put my arms in is disturbing. Apparently most people's arms don't bend that way. What do you crunch up into a ball? <laughs> Holy shit. Alright. A dancing door. Hehe. <laughs> speaking of which... Co. I mean... Speaking of which... I swear to god... <sighs> Wait. Is that a... A customer? Oh. Oh. I think it is. Finally. Hey, hello, sup. Hello. Hello. Ooh, nice hat. Welcome to the Lonely People Potion Shop. Oh, well, hey there. Wait. S sorry, what was that? Uh, Lonely People Potion Shop. That's the name of this place. L Lonely People? Oh. <laughs> uh, well, isn't this funny? Huh? Well, you see... I thought I read lovely people, not lonely. No, oh, whatever. At least it seemed pretty lovely. So I suppose I came to the right place after all. Do not hit on the witch! <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, but gotta say, it sure seems a bit lonely around here too. With a place like this. I'd imagine a flood. Well, it's quite the opposite, really. There are many days where no one comes by. I get to see it here all on my own. Thinking. Maybe seeing you're in drawing too. Sometimes the place just kind of stays empty. Well, except for Alaria, of course. Alaria? Uh, I think I've heard that name before. Somewhere in the past. It's a beautiful name, really. I think that too. And Alaria, they help me on days that I don't feel that great. Keeping me company, keeping the place alive. Really wouldn't be here without their help. I see. So where might this Alaria be right now? On their way to town. Getting some new ingredients. Or so I hope. Eh. An adventurer. I see, I see. Yeah. We'll have to get the ingredients somehow. When it comes to me, I'm not the most outgoing potion witch around here. Hit the witch. No. You know. Uh-huh. Just like my little hedgehog. Hmm... Hedgehog? Oh, and speaking of adventurers, I would like to have a potion. Please. Oh, sure. What shall it be? Wait, is it? No. Oh, <laughs> yes. One adventurer potion. Please. Of course. One adventure potion coming up. How do I make that? Adventure potion. I think there's a bit of warm welcoming and. Okay. And probably traveler's luck, right? I can only imagine, right? Uh, God, I hope I got this right. We'll fucking find out. Wahoo! Adventurer Potion. Oh, Herbal Adventure Potion. Ready. Here's your fucking Adventure Potion. One Adventure Potion. Wonderful. 
Hmm. Just as I remember. You, you like it? Absolutely. And the herbs. Oh. Only my little hedgehog was here. Hmm. Is this a weed den? <laughs> I feel like I'm giving people drugs, not exactly uh, potions. So, I was wondering. You're on a quest? Uh, <laughs> how did you guess? Uh, wait, it's the armor? It's the armor. Of course it is. I, I thought that was a hoodie. Yeah, uh, we're on a quest. We're on a quest to find the missing howl. The missing howl? Mm-hmm. So, the missing howl, coming from this very forest. You see, some time ago, the elder creature of the northern woods went missing, and the quest takers called were called to solve its whereabouts. Of course, we were searching from almost every imaginable place ever. We even went through the portal of chaos. Can you imagine? What? Really? Yeah. We were inside the portal like, what? two weeks but nothing uh so lu li nothing i i thought that was i didn't know what that word was nada oh i'm sorry it's all right it was fun to finally get there portal of chaos i mean see the breaking worlds here and there hear the echoes fly by and for my little hedgehog it was like a dream come true oh mia M mia Oh, right. Of course. Apologies. Me is my girlfriend. We're on this quest together. Well, obviously. <laughs> and my name is Laura, by the way. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Laura. Likewise, likewise. On a quest together. I think Alaria told me once that before moving here, they were a quest taker too. Everything from deliveries to fighting evil curses. How do you fight a curse? Being a quest taker can often be really dangerous. Huh. <laughs> But then again, Larry is Laria. I think they could manage it quite well. No, 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 no. They're herbs with magical effects, not drugs with hallucinogens. We're on a quest to slay the page, the potion witch. Fuck. <laughs> you square up easy. <sighs> oh, I fell on my thoughts again. Yeah. <clears throat> Any favorite quests? How does quest... Okay, so I can say all of these. So, any favorite quests? So I suppose that you've taken a bunch of quests already. Uh, you're talking to a professional. Yes. Any favorite ones? Uh, let's see now. Well, this one was really something special. We had to pay a visit to the wizard tower in order to, well, prevent some furniture from going insane. What? In insane furniture? So they were mimics. Yes, mimics. That's the word. So we were fighting mimics, but what made it even more exciting than those flying chairs and tables was that the wizard enchanted our gear. Whoa. Uh huh. And I got, guess what? A flaming sword. And an invisible armor. Invisible weight. So just the armor was invisible. Oh. Yeah, no, 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 sorry. We were both invisible. And my dear armor... Oh. Eh. Now it makes more sense. There's also this other wizard helping us, dressed in blue. The doors were dancing so hard that without his help, we wouldn't have gotten inside. And that was the quest where I met Mia. <sighs> my little hedgehog. Why do you keep calling her that? <laughs> oh well. Father, forgive me, I've sinned. What did you do this time, child? I brought a gun to church with the intent of killing a priest. <laughs> Fuck. What? Uh, okay. That's the end one. The missing howl. Yeah, what the heck is this thing? This, this is like deep fantasy language. Dog pewter. I'm an actual dog. Maybe she's an actual hedgehog from Sonic. No, we're not playing Sonic. We're not playing that new Sonic game that came out that everyone was playing. What happened after the portal? Oh, right. Uh, so, we were thinking of giving up, really. After months of searching with no results. The only logical answer was, well, you know. 
Right. But... But... Takes a hit. And something really interesting happened. During the night, the very last night of our search, we heard it. A howl. And not any kind of howl. A howl so mighty and loud that it must have been the elder creature. It was a sign. A message. To keep on searching. And as so, we gathered together to discuss this mysterious matter. And Mia figured it out. There was still this one part of the kingdom we hadn't touched. This very forest. Th this forest? Uh-huh. I, I feel like I actually am the target of being killed here or something. I... I'll... I'll keep my eyes open if anything happens. Oh. A quest. A quest? Me? A potion witch? On a quest? Gladly. Any help is always welcome. Especially from a potion witch such as you. How does quest taking work? How do I become an adventurer? I've wondered. How does it work? Being a quest taker and all. <laughs> what about it? Ask away. Where do you... Well... Find them? Quests? Yeah. Well, it can be it can vary a lot. Sometimes towns might have dedicated taverns, like the Doorknob Tavern near this forest. There's the people who are in need of a helping hand gather together. Most of the time, they find help from other visitors. But sometimes, they're in need of a quest taker. Right. Other way we find quests, well, you'll either stumble upon a forgotten note, or a book, or even a creature that knows where some enchanted item may be hidden. Whoa. Like a mystery? It is. And me is especially loves to solve those mysteries. Eh. About Mia. You keep on name dropping this person. <laughs> Guys, the word quest is beginning to lose meaning to me. Good. Quest, 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 knowledge. So, uh, where's Mia? Uh, at our camp. Like always. I've asked her to come explore the town with me, but... She doesn't really want to. Which is fine. She's not that social creature, you know. My little hedgehog. Hmm. Me, on the other hand, I, I, I could never imagine calling someone my little hedgehog. Like, you be you? That sounds like such a mouthful. Me, on the other hand, I like to see it all. The beauty of the town, and explore the hidden parts too. Like this potion shop of yours. And I'm so glad I found my way here. Such a comfy place. And I mean it. Oh. Thank you, Laura. It's a pleasure to get a quest taker visit us. Anytime, anytime. Oh. But speaking of time... I better get going soon. Mia sure likes to spend time on her own, but sometimes you might get a bit anxious. Worrying about me. So I'll usually surprise her when I come back. With a warm hug. <sighs> Just thinking about her makes me want to go now. But I'll take another one with me. To bring it to Mia? To bring it to... No. Oh, but of course. That's a wonderful idea. You sure know your ways, potion witch. <laughs> You're so groovy, funky man. Yep, uh, what is she like? Well, anything herbal should work. All right, I'll see what I can do. Herbal, huh? Just the right amount of mana increases luck. Hmm, hmm. Let's, uh... So I heard warm hug. But they also sound like some kind of smart dork. Something herbal. Aha! Mountain herbs! Take this, fucking herbs! Eat trash! Be turned into a brew by my mighty spoon! You need to really stop flying into the ground. <gasps> potion of well being. Herbal potion of well being. Ready. These all look so tasty, I want them! I want to fucking drink them! One potion coming up. Wonderful. But alright. I'll be leaving now. Take care, potion witchery. And say greetings to your friend Illyria, too. I will. Thank you, Laura. Be seeing you. <laughs> See you. Ellipses. Not ellipses. 
I don't know what the wiggly thing is. Don't be sampling your own wares. <laughs> you, can't <st> <laughs> you can't stop me. I just choked on my own inhale. That's what I get, I suppose. <sighs> well, that went better than expected. Ding dong. Oh, uh. Hello. Uh, Alaria? It's me. Alaria. I already forgot my voice. You're back already? Eh, just a quick, um, visit. Found something really nice and decided to bring it back here. Look. What the fuck is this? Spices? Spicy. All different kinds of them. Where did you get these? Met this old, um, merchant? On the road, heading towards the doorknob tavern. So, we started chatting, and I mentioned about our little potion shop and all. He seemed really excited about this place. Really? Uh-huh. He's probably coming to visit. Um, tomorrow? Oh. Well, thank you, Valeria. Eh. <laughs> he also gave these spices. Said that he'd rather give them to us than care any longer. Oh. Anyways, gotta go. It's starting to get dark real soon, and I don't want to miss the shadows dancing. So I'm off now. <laughs> the shadows dancing? What the fuck? Good luck, Illyria. Oh, and please, don't stay there for too long. You know me. Bye. Um, I guess I'll take these. <sighs> oh, Illyria. What could I do without you? Oh, wait. I forgot to say greetings from Laura. Oh well. I'll do that once Larry returns. So, tomorrow. Hmm. Hmm. The spices! They smell so nice. And some of them are just spiders. These smells. I can't really tell what they are. Or at least they don't seem any familiar. Smells. Spices. Now it's all coming back to me. The memories from school. The potion school. All these shelves filled with different kinds of ingredients. And spices, too! We had to memorize them all. Tell the difference of their taste and smell just by looking at them. So I wonder. I really don't remember seeing anything like these spices in there. Hmm. Maybe Illyria happened to find the rarest of the rare. <laughs> Is that a... Another customer? Whoa! What should I say? What should I say? Hmm. Well, hello there. Uh, potions, you know. Uh, warmest welcome. Warmest welcome to the Lonely People Potion Shop. Oh my god, you look so fucking sad. Oh. Um. Hmm. Oh no. Did I scare them? Um. I. Um. Sorry, I... I... Uh, is everything alright? Hey. It's alright. You're safe here. It's just you and me. Hey. What about... I'll pour you a little potion. I can do that if you want. Uh, oh. I... T thank you. That, that'd be nice. Uh, I mean... If it's okay. No worries. Is there anything you like? Oh, um, well, something sweet maybe? If that's okay. Something sweet. Alright, I'll see what I can do. I'm gonna make the sourest, disgusting fucking potion ever invented. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. Uh... Let's see. Mana. And... Mana. And something sweet. I think one of these is sweet. Spicy, okay. Uh, sweet taste. There we go. Fucking... Why is the sugar ancient? That's disgusting. We need to buy new sugar. This sugar is too old. It has ancient garbage written all over it. They used to use this sugar as currency. All right, sweet mana potion. All right, this will perk you up. All right, here's your potion. Hope you like it. Oh, 
th thank you. No worries. <laughs> Just play like the grapefruit noises. Oh, I, I don't remember when I had a potion that this good. I mean, um, yeah, I know salt used to be used as currency, but then it would get wet and it wouldn't be currency anymore. It would be salt because they used fucking something water soluble as currency. The idiots. Why would they do that? Oh, ooh, I'm getting mad. Also, hold on. What has this been bothering me? There we go. It's where the word salary came from. That can't be true. I literally don't believe it. Hmm. Oh. And there was some man in it, too. I... Th thank you. You're welcome. It's a pleasure to get creatures... Creatures? Like, is that... Okay, I <laughs> I feel like that's offensive to call someone a creature. I guess that's normal in this world. All right, hold on. It's a pleasure to get creatures to visit this place. It has been quite empty around here. <sighs> Maybe a forest wasn't the best place for a potion shop. Oh, well. I, uh... I think it's a, a nice place. It's quite calm. And beautiful around here. I mean, um... That's just... It's just what I think. I, uh... Sorry. Wait. No, I think that creature might be right. Potion shops around the town, while attract more customers, kind of lose the comfort of a silent place. A place you can visit whenever you feel like it. Stay as long as you would like to. A place like... A potion shop. In the middle of the forest. Hmm. I have a business idea. Oh no. The thoughts. They get me again. <laughs> Arr. Think, think, think. Something to talk about. Hmm. Talk about the potion? Talk about the forest? Talk about the weather? Talk about the forest. I think the forest is quite a comfortable place too. Hearing the birds fly by in the morning. The last raindrops falling from the leaves. And all the shadows dancing through the night. <sighs> oh, have you seen them too? I have. Apparently this forest is full of shadows. Old ones. Younger beasts. Those who can fly. Those who crawl. Unfortunately, keeping the shop open during days, it gets me really sleepy. So it's rare for me to be awake when it all happens. Larry, on the other hand, they stay up all night and day. Still not sure how they managed to do that. Some kind of spell, maybe. Spell. It might be chaos magic. Or, I've heard it could do something like that. Keep you awake. For example, really? I, well, I, I guess, yeah. Magic. Hmm, <laughs> don't know anything about that as a witch. Talk about the potion. Sweet is actually a pretty interesting flavor. At least when it comes to potions. Oh, sorry if I... No, don't worry. The ingredients for a sweet potion aren't rare or anything. And to be honest, I kind of prefer sweet potions over anything else. Oh, so you like it too? Yeah! All the different liquids mixed together you can usually leave quite an odd taste. Sometimes a bad one, even. That's why adding something sweet to it makes it easier to drink. Just remember to not add too much sugar. Or... So they told me at school. That didn't prevent me from trying. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but oh, the potion too sweet. It was awful. Never gonna try that again. Ugh. I, I had a potion a bit too sweet once too. It was an old mana potion I found, and never really needed some mana for a couple of spells. It was awful. Just like you said, too sweet. <laughs> yeah, to cast spells. So, a wizard. I, man, who would have fucking thought? You, a wizard? No way. You, little sweet muffin child, you can't have- you can't possibly be a fucking wizard with your little booty hands and your- your dumb little hat. Maybe? <laughs> I'm so stupid. I for one would have never guessed that this dweeb was a wizard. <laughs> Talk about wizard stuff. I don't want to fucking talk about it. That's lame. That's for idiots. That's for stupid dorks. Wizard stuff. So, you're a wizard of some sort. Oh, right. 
Yeah, I guess I am. Or at least was. Oh, and my name is Orb. <laughs> Sorry, didn't say that earlier. Orb. That's a beautiful name. Really suits a wizard. <laughs> oh, th thank you. I, I thought that was a big-ass tongue for a second. So, what happened? If it's alright to talk about that. Well, a lot of things really flunked out of wizard school. I just... <sighs> I had a different view of what being a wizard really was. Well, it wasn't all just spellcasting and magic, unfortunately. Because, well, you know, there were many wizards around the towns and all. Putting up magic shows all day and night. Showing people their spells and tricks. Seeing you can do it the fastest. They're the best. Who can be the greatest wizard around? It's like a competition. A competition. But without an end. And of course, I too wanted to take part in it. Because, well... Everyone else was in it too. Right? And not taking part would mean that... You wouldn't be taken as a real wizard. <sighs> No worries, Orb. You're safe here. Everything will be alright. And you're not alone. Really. It was the same thing with Potion Witches. I was just thinking about that time a moment ago, and... Well, just after graduating from Potion School, I felt like everyone was expecting me to shine. Every day felt like a race. You have to show everyone the best potions you can make, and not only once, but every single day. I would... Uh, uh, I'd wake up anxious during the nights, thinking of if the last potion I made was good enough. Doing it again, and again, and again, and again. Until... Until I weren't making potions and showing them to others. But rather, making potions, just to be able to show them to others. And I... I collapsed. From stress. From everything. And... Okay. <sighs> Finally took a breath decided to stop for a day for a day I tried to stay away from it all put it all the way close my eyes and finally sleep see dreams dream draw stay still for at least a moment wanted to just stay still and breathe breathe in and breathe out I started to understand that the competitions, they were like a bubble. Whether you were inside it or not, it didn't change who you were. I... I was a potion witch. Still am a potion witch. <laughs> Making potions for everyone in need, despite not attending any potion competitions. Or any stuff like that. Despite not showing everyone how good potions I'm able to make. Well, if you ask me, I still got so much to learn. But despite all that, I'm here. I'm me. I'm a potion witch. <laughs> and you... You're, you're, you are Orb. Orb the wizard. Whatever happens, whatever anyone says, you are Orb. Orb the wizard. And you matter. So, so much. I matter... You do! I'm not just saying that because you bought a potion. Uh, it might be hard to see it yourself at times. It might be hidden behind thoughts and feelings that aren't so kind. But you do, Orb. You matter. Oh, you do, Orb. There's a comma. There's a hidden comma. And always will. Always! I like your hat. Uh, it has worried me so much. I thought I was the only one felt this way don't worry orb you're always welcome to share your thoughts and feelings here it's a lonely people potion shop after all it's literally in the branding thank you potion witch thank you potion seller I haven't made a single potion seller joke holy shit I'm an idiot always just remember that word always so what do you say another potion S sure what shall I get for you um, something with mana? That's alright. Sure, something with mana coming up. 
something with mana. Well, I already gave them a mana potion. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do mana and uh, uh, we're gonna do mana and luck. There we go. They do like things that are sweet, so I'm probably gonna do that again. There we go. Spoon! Powerful. Observe my most mighty creation. The sweet sorcerer potion. Even though you're a wizard, you can still drink it. Alrighty. Uh, I think you might like this one. Oh. Thank you. Oh. The sweetness. And the mana, too. It tastes really good. <laughs> hmm. I'm really glad I got you to meet... I really... Give it, really glad I got to meet you, Orb. And you're always welcome anytime you like. Or a potion or two. Or just chatting around. Whatever you want. And, hey. Remember to rest every once in a while. Take it easy. Orb the wizard. <laughs> Thank you, Potion Witch. I'll I'll definitely come by another time. And thank you again. Thank you for all that you said. I I'll be going now. So see you, Potion Witch. <laughs> see you, Orb the Wizard. A whip. Play the Super Mario Boo sound effect whenever anyone fades out in this game. Ah, okay, I need to moisten my throat. I probably need to get some more tea, actually. But, how long have I been going? I've only been going an hour. I can... I can sustain myself. I'm not doing any voices that are too... So. Orb the wizard. Hmm. Just remember to breathe. In and out. And rest. It'll be alright, Orb. Totally not cursing you right now. You're welcome here. <laughs> Always. Always. Oh. It's getting real dark out there. I wonder how Laura's doing. And Mia, was it? Questioning... Questing with each other. <laughs> Sounds like they're pretty happy together. Hmm. I wonder where Alaria is. Probably ended up changing their road again. Like always. Well, they have the key, so it's alright if I'll... Hmm... <sighs> Go to sleep. That was an actual yawn. Just seeing the word yawn made me tired. <sighs> I didn't realize I was a narcoleptic witch. This is a pleasant day. I hope Orb sleeps well. And Laura. And Mia. And Alaria. Oh, wait. Larry doesn't sleep. Whatever. <laughs> I was about to say. And as you close your eyes and enter the world of dreams, clouds pass by and the grass flows like an ocean. You float there at peace. Until the door gets slammed and you hear Laria walk in. Hello! Oh. Sorry. Laria. Please, just once. <laughs> Day two. Sleepy cat. <sighs> well, at least this time I didn't oversleep. Or, well, sleep almost at all. Hey, maybe it'll be alright. Ugh, seems like a quiet day today. Like always. Morning! Ugh. Oh, hey, Lyria. Good morning, you sleepy cat. What? Sleepy cat? That's what I'm gonna call you now. Um, sleepy cat. Wait, what? Why? You here sleeping all night. While the shadows were holding the, um, best dance show ever. So you really went with them, huh? What? No. I was just, uh, watching. Yeah, right. Alright. I danced only like an hour or so. Nothing more. Nothing less. <laughs> Sleepy cat. I don't like the fact that my name has been d evilly bewitched to be this. Sorry. It's alright. 
Oh, thank God. But what I'm really curious about is that... How? Ow? How did you do that? Stay up all night and day? Without any sleep? You gotta feel a bit tired at least. Tired? <laughs> Me? Tired? Nah. In need of a... Um... Potion? Yes. <sighs> Alright. What shall it be? Something with this. Yo. The fucking ingredient? What? Is that? No way. It can't be. Uh-huh. It is. Blood. Oh, dragon eye. Even worse. <laughs> dragon eye? Ooh. Haven't seen this in ages. It's from the doorknob? Yep. It took a little while to get some of that stuff. Name that dork. Motherfucker. Now I gotta rename myself Sleepy Sheep instead of... Actually, that's probably a pretty good name for branding. Ernest Wheat's kind of... Nothing. Can I change my name right now? Hold on. I don't want to fucking change my Twitch... <laughs> oh god, I almost locked my job. I don't want to change my entire Twitch username for a joke. That seems like a bad idea. Oh jeez. But here it is. Here it is. Fresh dragon eye. Peel the dragon <laughs> peel the dragon myself. Oh. Well, thank you, Valeria. Thank you so much. This will be very useful. No worries. Just doing my job, really. Besides, I met quite a lot of new faces there. And told them about um this place. Our potion shop. A bunch of them seemed quite interested, actually. A potion shop? In the middle of the forest? Some even considered paying a visit one day. Even this Fen. She, uh... Well, no one really knows what her deal is. One day she just came there. To the tavern. Like, out of nowhere. No one had seen her in town before. She seems a bit... Um... Lost, really. Not talking to anyone and stuff. But still. Always there. Fen. Oh. But I would love to meet her. Yeah, I thought the same. That's why I started chatting with her. Such a mysterious creature. <laughs> I can't handle the the fucking individuals in this game are called creatures. But hey, getting a bit thirsty here. Oh, sorry. Right. One potion with strength coming up. Alright. Dragon Eye. <sighs> Oh, we're gonna do a luck and strength potion. Something with strength. And these spices. Oh god. You just put the whole fucking jar of spices in? That sounds horrible. Time to make the worst fucking potion ever! Potion of shit your pants! Oh my god. Spicy archer potion. That looks really gross. Alright, have a sip. Alright, let's try this one. Sure looks nice. Mmm. <laughs> oh, this... This feeling. I... I need a bow. And some arrows. They're flying through the air. Hitting every... Um... Apple in sight? <laughs> it's an archer's potion. Well, that explains it then. Meh. But this tastes great. Oh, and the, um, spiciness. These are the new spices? I think they work really well here. <laughs> so, did anything wild happen yesterday? Well, I gave a lot of unsolicited therapy to a wizard named Orb. And then someone came in and started talking about their little hedgehog, and I'm still not convinced if they're an actual hedgehog or not. Not really anything that wild. <laughs> Fuck you. Me? But this one wizard came to visit us. Orb was his name. A real wizard? Uh-huh. The best wizard around, which, no, that's not what you should say. Huh. Oh. And this one quest taker wanted to greet you. I think that her name was... Laura? <laughs> Laura? How... Um, what does she look like? Well, she was wearing armor and... Commander Laura! <laughs> How? 
Oh, the memories. She can't be here. No way. Wait. It, um, it was the creature thing, right? Missing bowl? Missing howl. Oh. But yeah, she told me something about that. Do you, do you know her? Do I know her? We were questing together. Well, back in the day. When I was still a quest taker and stuff. She was the leader of our group. She and, um, Mia? Was it? Yeah. I think they're both staying at the camp nearby. Really? Oh, I gotta meet her. It has been so long. Gotta know every detail about their quests. Really gotta annoy them for 12 hours. Well, just don't stay for too long. Again. Please. Sorry. I'll try my best. Thanks again for the dragon eye. No problem. Sleepy cat. Hey. Bye. <laughs> I don't want to be called that. Archerers. Archerers potion. Ignore the typos. It's fine. <sighs> Quest takers. Missing howl. And it's all happening around these woods. Huh. Hope everything goes all right. Sometimes quests can be really dangerous. So it's important to know your own boundaries. Don't take a challenge too hard. And the rest every once in a while, too. Well, unless you're Elyria. Ugh. <gasps> a customer. Uh. Morning. Morning, morning. Welcome to the Lonely People Potion Shop. Who the fuck are you? You look cool as shit. Well, hello. Mind if I bring a puppet with me? Uh, it's alright. There's always room for anyone in need of a potion. I see. Well, thank you. Duh. Wait, a puppet? Oh, hi. Yes, a puppet. Or a friend of some sort. Depends really on how you look at it. A piece of wood can be both a bench and a statue. This little potion shop here is a place where one enters, or a place where the other finally leaves. Hmm. Interpretation. I suppose it's interpretation that makes us different. Seeing the world with your own pair of eyes, like no one else. You sound like the final boss. You seem to know a lot. <laughs> to know? To say? It's just the use of the right words. What the fuck? Also, you really love your mashed potatoes. I fucking want mashed potatoes now. I, I'm gonna make curry tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday, right? Yeah, I'm making curry tomorrow. I'm gonna break my curry roux in half and make it. And I also bought stuff for... I also bought stuff for... What did I... Wait, what did I buy? I bought stuff for curry and I also bought stuff for... Um... Ramen... Right, I bought a bunch of aromatics for ramen. I need to buy ginger. Fuck. I went to go buy ginger, and like I literally couldn't get into the aisle. I I'm going to stop talking about my grocery store experience. It was just a nightmare. It's just the use of the right words at the right time. Hmm. Oh. Eh, I guess, yeah. But sometimes, you might feel like you're not speaking as yourself. And a puzzle on what to say next. Who to speak to next? Who to speak as next? And it all blurs your mind. Who you once were, who you are now. Are they still the same? Sir, this is a Wendy's. Apologies. I get a bit off the track. No, no, no. No, oh, sorry. No, no, it's all right. I actually enjoyed that, listening to you. Your voice is... So calm and deep. I nailed it! I got it right! I knew their voice was gonna be fucking deep as shit! I could listen to you read a book all day. Hmm. <laughs> well. And what you said. Well, uh, sometimes I might get this feeling that something isn't right. Something that I do, or say, or just me being... being who I am. Hmm. Usually it's hard to get it to stop. The feeling kind of surrounds me. Doesn't let me go. General anxiety, but but I've learned about it, about myself, about my feelings. 
Sometimes I might draw, draw pictures of various kinds of creatures visiting me, different colors, blending together in a kettle. Or I might sing. I like to sing a lot, actually. Well, not when other creatures are around. But I'm all by myself, here, sitting in this very same place, sorting out my ingredients, and feeling the air around me, the wind passing by the forest, seeing travelers come and go, making potions, adding colors together to create something new. Something... something made by me. And I... I... I feel calm. I feel that it'll be alright. It'll be alright. Hmm. You seem to know a lot too, Potion Witch. <laughs> well, th thank you. Of course, back then when I started, it wasn't all like this. I was burnt out, not believing in myself. Kinda hating this all, and seeing everyone else succeed around me made me even more worried. I was lost in my thoughts, thoughts that weren't as kind as they are nowadays. That only made my situation harder. It's like a sink. It only stopped streaming when the potions were when the potatoes when the potions were boiling. How much butter in your mash? Oh yeah. I forget like mashed potatoes are like a weird science. Also, wow, I just this is me like squeezing my throat. Hello? It's like a sink filled with mashed potatoes. Yeah. Like a sink. Once it sucks you in, you can only go deeper and deeper until you start to climb back. But, well, it isn't as easy as it sounds. And sometimes... Sometimes taking that very first step might be the most hardest one to take. You might not even be sure where to put your feet, in which direction to go, where to wander, or how to walk. And that's when you might need the help of others. Right, and, well, after taking a long break from it all, I was still doubting myself, thinking that it really wasn't that big of a deal, and I was just thinking too much. But then, one night, it was so stormy outside that the door was dancing on its own, and it almost felt like, like my thoughts, watching that storm from the window, the wind running through the forest, hitting every single tree on its way, collapsing moment after another. It felt like I was watching myself, my thoughts, being alive. And well, then I met Alaria. I traveled here through the storm. <laughs> I had to pour them a warm potion, and there, that night, only us two here, with the storm raging outside the window, I, I told them about my feelings, my thoughts, my situation with myself. I told it all to Alaria. I let it all out, like a flood. I let it all out, and I cried. <laughs> there, there I cried, in the lap of a creature I barely knew yet, but, well, it felt like, like it was about to take the very first step. <laughs> I started moving my feet, slowly, slowly, and opened my eyes, and saw a storm outside. Started to calm down slowly, slowly. <laughs> hmm. I might be wrong, but this little potion shop of yours, it's something really special. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you. Speaking of which, uh, is there anything that you like? Let's see. Hmm. A healing potion could work. Alright. One healing potion coming up. Healing potions just yeah, just just health. 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 Let's see. Um when you eat a lemon. Sour healing potion. Makes your mouth go... Ugh! Mm, bracing. Ooh, 
Ooh, that looks good. Here you go. One healing potion. Thank you. Mm. Yes. Yes. Looks the way I remember it. Koshek the Hovering Cat! Holy shit! <laughs> Sorry. This game is about running a potion shop in the woods. I was literally thinking about you the other day because I went back to check what games I'd streamed um, for bundle games. This is one of the bundle games, and I saw you in the fucking uh, VOD for when I was making that giant spreadsheet. Oh shit, I need to update that spreadsheet. Yes, looks the way I remember it. Also, sorry for freaking out. I just, that fucking name, like, flood of memories. Yes, it looks the way I remember it. Hmm. I didn't expect that reaction. I just, I remembered your name, because I saw it in the fucking VOD for the, the big spreadsheet stream that I did. Hmm. This is the taste. How is it? Good. I like that there's a tiny potion for the puppet. It's kind of refreshing, just the way I like it. Mmm. Thank you for the potion. No problem. I fucking love this game's art style so goddamn much. I'm gonna just throw that out there. Like, it's not the most complex thing ever, but there's just something, like, really enthralling about the character design. <laughs> nice to be remembered. <laughs> I'm sorry, I did not mean to freak out like that. I It, it was just kind of a perfect coincidence. <laughs> I actually met one of your friends yesterday. Illyria, was it? Oh, right. Wait, so you were the one who gave us the spices? Hmm. Oh, a merchant. Of course. That explains the gigantic backpack. <laughs> well... Well, I carry a lot more than just items to sell. Some of them are heavy to lift, and the others... heavy to put back down. What is this, Valhalla for witches? Kind of. Should I stop watching for a few months so I can get welcomed back like that? No, don't do that. <laughs> Please, no. I can welcome you like that normally. I just... I, I, that was... I just kind of... That, oh. Heavy to put back down, but... I felt like the spices had traveled with me enough already. Thank you for the spices. Oh, wait, thank you for the spices. Yeah, no, Charlotte, people were making that joke immediately, and I I, I was, I did not expect it to be like that. <laughs> Sorry. I've never seen these before. Not even in potion school. And their shelves. They were as big as a library. Hmm. I've been there too. The potion school. As a student? Only for a moment, yes. But then, well, I figured out that it really wasn't my place. Well, apologies. I forgot to introduce myself. I am Spruce, at your service. It's nice to meet you, Spruce. Likewise, Potion Witch. So, he was a student too. I wonder how the school was back then. Were the teachers the same? The students? The atmosphere? Hmm. Uh, what was school like? So I wonder, uh, do you remember anything from school? Not like subjects and all that, but the atmosphere. How was it like back then? Hmm. How, you say, a bit demanding, perhaps? From the very first day you were expected to know it all. The recipes and the way all the flavors work together. We were thrown to the cold waters, just like that. And it was this challenge that made us work as a group and get familiar with each other. And well, <laughs> have some fun too. <laughs> but teachers didn't like that. Of course, they wanted us to spend all of our free time studying. It was the true path to the potion mastery. They said, well, that was everyone except Matt. Matt? Wait, Matt was teaching you? Mm-hmm. He was always wearing pajamas and, well, half asleep. Telling jokes and laughing with us. Not at us, like everyone else. Matt? Matt sure was something. Surely. I think I miss him a little. You could visit the school someday. I think Matt is still there. 
in his pajamas, like always. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. That isn't a bad idea. I'll think about it. Life as a merchant. How's the life as a merchant? I guess you get to travel a lot to places? Hmm. It's alright. And yes, most of my time goes from walking one town to another. So it's good to stop every once in a while to a place like this. Calm and steady. But unfortunately, I can't stay in one place for too long. The seasons change, the wind starts to blow. So I start to travel to my next destination. Sometimes it takes weeks before I get there. Sometimes I arrive sooner than I thought. Are you some kind of fey creature, Spruce? It's the mystery of lands unexplored that keeps me going. That keeps calling me. And every time I see a town, a mountain, a river, that I haven't seen before, I... I find something new in myself, too. A feeling. A thought. Something that gets me closer to who I really am. And that's the life of a merchant. Or at least, <laughs> the way I live it. What are you selling? Knuckle sandwiches. Screen blacks out, just giant crack graphic on the front. So, what are you selling exactly? Hmm... Nothing specific, really. This person speaks how trans girls type. <sighs> how dare you, but rather... Wait, which, which spruce or which? Because everyone kind of talks with these very long pauses. But rather, anything I happen to find. Not by stealing, <laughs> but by learning. Usually it's the lands forgotten where most of my items sleep. In houses abandons, or pockets of those who still walk on these roads. I get to meet them, hear their stories, and share mine. And I can tell them about my travels, the many lands that I've seen in my life. Stories, one could say. A traveling storyteller? That sounds exciting. Hmm. It is. And usually it makes them happy too, to learn about lands they didn't know exist. To get to experience the adventure in their minds. And so usually, they give me something in return. An old book, spices, toys, something they find no value in anymore, like they once used to. And I deliver these items to who needs them the most. Well, of course for a price. I gotta eat something too. <laughs> but every once in a while, I might give them out for free. It's... It's just the way I feel. This... This person... Literally, I, I made this person as a merchant in a D&D game that I ran. Like, a few years ago. Like, this was the, this was the weird fey merchant that I ran in the middle of the fucking, like, really cold, icy plains that traded trinkets for trinkets. Like, the more trinkets you brought them, the more valuable items you could get. And they also, if you didn't have anything to trade them, they would literally take years off of your life. That's the weird vibe I'm getting from Spruce. You want another one? Hmm. So? You want another one? Hmm. Sure. I'll have a potion of resistance. Sure. Oh, fuck. I don't actually know what that is. I'm guessing it's... Guessing it's health and strength. I can't imagine what else it would be. And I'm gonna give them the spices that you gave out. Oh, hey, oh, hey! I need to stop making race car noises whenever I make this potion. That looks pretty good. Spicy potion of resistance. Here you go. One potion of resistance. Thank you. I'll save this for later. It's going to be a rather interesting night. Oh? I heard that the shadows are on a move. 
Gotta be careful out there. Shadows? Hmm. Or so I heard. It seems like they've been hiding something. Or... Someone. Keeping them inside the forest. Not letting go. So Quest Acres took a notice. Or so it seems. And now they're planning on searching through the forest. This night? Yes. The upcoming night will be dangerous. Knowing shadows and their many tricks. Right. Shadows. Oh. I hope Hilaria comes back before the night. They can get... Well... A bit carried away when it comes to shadows and stuff. Oh. Laura and Mia. You're probably going to be there too. <sighs> Just hope everything turns out alright. So. I suppose I better get moving. There is still couple of places left to visit. Before I head towards the mountains? Right. Oh, hey. Before you go, I was just wondering about... Um... The puppet? Sorry. It's just... Mm, it's alright. It's... Something. That I've been carrying around for ages. Hmm. The heaviest item I have with me... The hardest to put down, too. To leave behind. Although I think that today, I felt the change. The weight on it. Something just a little... lighter. Hmm. Now that I think about it, I might have some spare runes with me, too. <gasps> Yo! That's gonna fucking hurt someone's teeth if I put that in a potion. What? Oh no. You don't have to... It's alright. I'm more than happy to give them to you. As a thank you. And as a donation. For this little potion shop in the middle of the forest. Thank you, Spruce. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's nothing. But I'll be going now. Alright. Safe travel, Spruce. Hope we meet again someday. Mm. Likewise, Potion Witch. I'm sure to tell about this place, too. If someone seeks some rest and comfort, see you. See you, Spruce. That was a great example of answering a question without conveying any information. <laughs> yeah, no. So what's the deal with the puppet? Hmm. It got a little bit lighter. What the fuck? The puppet was also moving the whole time, which was spooky. A merchant traveling through the lands. Must be exciting. I think Hilaria would enjoy a life like that. Me, on the other hand. I think it's alright to stay here. Doing these potions is an adventure of some kind, and I... I enjoy it. Quite a lot. <laughs> I, like, love this game to pieces, even though it's, like, super... I guess, basic. Oh, a customer. Uh... Wacky. Just say the word wacky. Hey! <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the Lonely People Potion Shop. Sup? Sup, dork? Oh. So this is the place Sal keeps talking about. I mean, it already feels kind of dope if you ask me. <laughs> My name's Darrow, by the way. What the fuck? Name's Darrow, by the way. Not like Darrow, by the way, but only like Darrow. Just Darrow. Wait. No. You know what I mean. <laughs> nice to meet you, Darrow. There we go. I legitimately, legitimately wonder about the world and life circumstances that would have me living as a nomad like that, and if I'd be happy doing that. Real talk, I... The entire time that I was, ta I was having the conversation with Spruce, I was, like, legitimately fantasizing about doing shit like that. It's literally not possible in the world today. Or it... I fucking say that. Okay. Weird story time that I can't really put too much personal information in. But there's someone I know from high school who I, I follow them on Instagram. I barely use Instagram for anything. I follow this person on Instagram and they are constantly posting stuff about traveling across the United States and visiting weird places and I don't think that they have a job. I have no fucking idea what they do. I have no idea about them as a person. I barely knew them in high school. 
and they're always posting pictures about like being at weird like religious places it's not quite churches it's like hold on i'm gonna actually open up instagram for this this is like super not a good idea but like every once in a while i open it up and i'm like fascinated by what the fuck is going on and I, i'm honestly like super jealous hold on I, I, bear, I follow, like, no one on here. All these fucking ads, though. How do I go to people that I follow on Instagram? I don't use this enough. Uh, Alright, hold on. Um, following. Here we go. There it is. Alright, 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 alright. So, they went to... I don't know where the fuck this is. But they keep on posting stuff from, like... Like, this is from an arcade, clearly... They're in, I think... Where is this? I don't even know where this is. Pennsylvania? That can't be right. Okay, and then in this other one, they're like... At like a... A religious protest? But it looks like they're making fun of them? I don't know what the fuck is happening in this person's life, but it actually fascinates me. And these posts are like weeks after each other. Like, if that. Hiking. Yeah, 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 yeah. During the night in the wood streams. The people that just do, like, hiking the Appalachian Trail. I... Okay, they're in Pittsburgh in this one. Before... They're in West Virginia. So they're just... They're just going around. This is such an... This person's life fascinates me, and I want to do something like this. But... How? Like, how do they do this? They just... They just must know a bunch of people. Like, half these are at, like, shows... And at weird places... I just... I don't know. Ask them what they do. I don't know them well enough. I don't want to, like... Just jump into their DMs out of nowhere and say, like, Hey, like... I'm incredibly fascinated by your life. What do you do? <laughs> and can I get in on it? Oh, God. Hey, Princeps Raw. It, it was just... It's so interesting. It's going... It's, we're playing a very interesting game tonight. All right. Uh, nice. <laughs> Radical. So, what can I get you, Darrow? I'll have a... Uh, um, mm, something a wizard would dig. Some of that neat spell stuff, you know? All right. I'll see what I can do. Awesome. <laughs> All right. So, something a wizard would dig. Probably this something a wizard would like hmm should I just do full mana or yeah ah. Ooh. I might actually remake this one. Yo, what up? Nice to meet you. Want to share trauma? Y yeah. No. Yep. That's that's this game. Magical mana. <laughs> Holy shit. You know, fuck it. A wizard would dig the shit out of this. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, these runes are kind of crunchy. <laughs> Mmm. But <laughs> dude, the mana, the taste, the the potion, super radical. It tasted so good. And the magic stuff floating around. Whoa, dude. I almost broke my teeth on them. <laughs> this art is so good. I fucking love this art. My teeth have been turned into feathers. What have you done? <laughs> Oh my god. Kind of looks like Darrow. A little bit. Oh my god. I have friends that for one reason or another decided to just be homeless so you can get a steady yet meager amount through charity here. It would be nice to afford a phone and some bus tickets with it. Yeah. Oh, it would be easy to afford a phone and bus tickets with it. I... I've legitimately thought about kind of giving everything up and just like traveling around. I don't think I have the fortitude for it. But I... I want to see places. 
a lot. <laughs> you screwed up the potion by not making race car noises? Fuck! Haven't had any potion like this before. Makes me feel like I'm a real wizard. <laughs> I like it. Oh, glad to hear. So, potion witch. Potion witchy. I can call you that, right? Just wait. No. Now I remember. Sleepy cat. What? What? Not again. <laughs> I was right after all. It worked on ya. Yeah. But sorry, sorry. It was just a joke, you know? No hard feelings, right? It's alright. But, uh, Illyria? You know them? Sure do. But oh man, that creature is wild. Always taking me to the most weirdest places ever. Like this one time we were after some mana stuff and... Wait, a couple of weeks ago? Uh, huh you know, the stuff you have in shelves. We found it, and Al brought it here. Like everything they could work in a potion. The other stuff we find, well, you really don't want to know. Trust me. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Did he just alter our name? Yeah, that's like a weird ongoing joke. Um, like our name keeps on getting destroyed. There are people here who pretend to be homeless or disabled so they can get charity. Yeah, that's the main thing that I want to avoid. I don't want to... Because that was a big problem a while ago in other countries. There were people who were, like, traveling the world by pretending to be homeless. Even though they kind of were... They were pretending... It's hard to explain. I don't want to do shit like that. I don't... I Like, I would love to be able to, like, seek out work while on the road to travel. I just don't know how to do that, and I don't have a lot of um, generally applicable skills. I should say that. I mean, I'm sitting here streaming a video game for you, and I'm trying my damnedest to make it my primary source of income, so clearly I don't have much going for me in the practical skills department. Let's just put it that way. Oh, okay. Valeria. But whoa. Whoa didn't realize Zalaria was working with someone, so thank you for finding me ingredients. Wouldn't be able to make potions without them. Ah, no probs, bro. When it comes to Al, I think they could manage on their own, too. I'm just, like, hanging around and stuff, I, I guess. It's a lot of fun, actually, but sometimes I feel like I could need something a bit calmer. You know, like drawing, writing, doing art. Yeah, all the wicked art stuff. It's so cool. Me and my bros really would love to try. There's even this one mysterious new artist visiting our town. I guess their name was Fen or something like that. Makes the craziest stuff. But so... Wait. Where was I? Oh, right. The mana stuff. So, we were told that we... Uh, we told that the only mine that still made the pure mana was closed, like, what? A couple of months ago? And if we wanted to get our hands on something similar, we would have to make it ourselves. Or, you know, buy, but, duh. It would be an adventure if we just went around and bought it. Boring stuff, you know? And too much trouble finding good merchants, and the ones that are cool are, like, gone by the day we find them. The system sucks, man. But so. <laughs> but so, Al had an idea. What if we went to the closed mana mine and searched for any leftovers and stuff? Forgotten and abandoned, you know, the mana stuff lasts like forever. Wait, so the mana that I use, yeah, it's the pure mana from the mines. How neat is that? Whoa, yeah. And so we ended up finding like, what, a lot of it. So much in fact that the town folk got impressed. So I had to start digging even deeper, and now we're here. <laughs> probably starting the project next week, open that old mine once again. Finally you might get to know what really happened there. The mystery of the closed mana mines <laughs> sounds kind of rad, right? Sure does. <laughs> but, speaking of rad, where's the raddest of them all? Didn't see my bro in town, so decided to check here. Lyria? Oh, they went to meet one of their old friends, a quest taker. A quest taker? Here? What? Yeah, something is going on. You have to know about it? Not much. Just that it might be something to do with the elder creature? And shadows. Shadows. Oh, man. What? Where? When? This night? In the forest? Dude. What? I've been asleep or something. 
gotta let my other bros know about this. Like... <laughs> like right now. Alright. Thanks, Potion Witchy. I'll be sure... I'll sure be visiting you another time. <laughs> Take care. Alright. Eh. Rolling out. Is Quest Taker slang for adventurer? I think it's heavily implied that it is. You're an editor, though, no? Can't you just work remotely while traveling, hypothetically? I was thinking about doing that. Um, I, I'm still working out the kinks and using DaVinci Resolve, but it definitely seems to be comparable, if not better, to Adobe uh, and not hanging off of the tumor that is Adobe. So that's good. Uh, I'm actually, tonight, after I finished streaming this, I was planning on trying to put some good hours in that... Uh, v6 times video just so i could have some content out i want to release at least one video a month which doesn't sound like a lot but i want to release like more than that but i want to start with that and then see if i can like get a schedule down because it, it it's weird having your schedule just shattered and then like change as much as mine has been so yeah but uh i'm, I'm trying to get you said davinci resolve because it has like advanced shit in it, I think. Like, it has the equivalent of stuff... At least one of the versions of it has the equivalent of stuff as, like, Premiere and uh, After Effects as well. But it's just... It's it's a completely different user interface, so I don't know where anything is. I have to, like, look up constant tutorials for things. But I'm learning it. I still understand, like, how to edit videos. Like, I understand how to do certain things and, like, how to make sure volume isn't terrible and shit like that. But it's... I'm basically, like, relearning my job. <laughs> Is DaVinci Resolve a single payment thing? I believe... Hold on. Let me actually look it up. DaVinci Resolve. Um... Buy online now, $295. Y yeah, it, it just looks like you fucking buy it. They have the thing is there's a free version, which is what I'm using. I don't know what the paid version gives you at all. <laughs> so I think the paid version might give you more features. I don't know. But the free version is just kind of there. It seems very like moddable too, because it like it's like yeah, you can like put in a bunch of weird shit in. Download DaVinci Resolve for free. Hold on, there's a free version. So what's the difference though? Okay, hold on. Once you learn the software and start using it for more work, you can purchase DaVinci Resolve Studio, which adds a ton of additional effects, 3D and more, adding an editor, keyboard, color control panel, or audio cons. Okay. So it so it adds more features basically, which is reasonable. Oh, here we go. Okay. So the difference is the 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 paid version has a neural engine for AI region tracking, stereoscopic tools, more filters, audio plugins and HDR grading. I don't know what any of that is cuz I am not I didn't do that advanced of video editing. The free version is just a free version. It's just free. It's not a trial. It's literally just a free version with less features. That's it. Also, this is not sponsored by DaVinci Resolve. Fucking, why would they Why would they sponsor me? I'm not streaming with Re DaVinci Resolve. All right, guys, the stream's sponsored. Yeah, no, that's the reason that I picked it up, because it was just free, and I was like, hmm, let's give this a shot, because Adobe can go fuck itself. God, fuck Adobe, dude. I fucking hate Adobe. As decent as the software is, holy fucking shit, using Adobe is like pulling fucking teeth. Sorry to, like, literally break the flow of the stream super hard. Fuck Adobe. I hate it. Sorry if you have to use it. It's horrible. Anyway. Hmm. Larry and Darrow. What a mess, really. <laughs> I just hope they don't get hurt during their adventures. I always tell Larry that it's alright to fail, to come back empty-handed. That's part of every journey. But, well, Larry is Alaria. Sometimes it takes weeks before they're back here. And even then, they just happen to come in in the middle of the night. Slamming the door to shut as hard as I can, knowing that it wakes me up. Oh, Alaria, what could I do without you? <sighs> My rock. I am now out of tea. 
I'm officially out of tea. My throat is going to start getting fucked up. I'm going to pour myself some water real quick. Actually, I'm going to grab a cup of water. cup of tea. Good. Oh, it's getting a bit late, but never too late for another customer. So, mixing potions and changing. Wait, that was a fucking Valhalla reference. It knows. The game knows. It's self-aware. Ah! Um, what I meant to say was... Hi. Hey. P -p 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 Potions? Poison? Hi. Hi. Welcome to Lonely People Potion Shop. Hi. Who are you? Hi. Is this the potion shop? The potion shop? Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Lonely People Potion Shop. Just tell me what you want, and I'll get the potions brewing. Hmm. I see. Well... I'd like to have, um, something forgotten. Something forgotten? All right, uh, I'll see what I can do. Something forgotten. Interesting. Something forgotten. See what I can do here. From the past. Hmm. I was thinking, yeah, maybe ancient sugar? That's what I was thinking. Spell power potion. <sighs> maybe? So here's hoping. I have no idea. Here we go. This one is called... Oh. Sorry. I prefer not to know. If it's alright. Your eyes are whack. Sure. <laughs> totally. This potion looks like a dream I had. Hmm. The taste of long lost, forgotten to the caves of one's home. One's wet mind. <sighs> I think I did it right. I'm surprised. Oh? Glad to hear you liked it. Fen. That's my name. If you prefer using them. Fen. Oh. Welcome, Fen. With pleasure. You've been making potions for a while? Well, not as long as the usual potion shop owners. Yet still. You know your mixing is a lot better than most of them. I'm impressed. Oh. Thank you, Fen. Or, well, that was just the first one I tasted. Let's see now. This time, how about something... kind? Something kind. Alright. Let's see now. Warm welcome. Um... Kind, kind, kind. Yeah, I'm gonna go health and luck. One of these are kind. Flavors from nature, sour, spicy. Maybe just health potion? 
This one was a gift. Hmm. Herbs are kind. I was kind of thinking herbs. I might do that. I might re- I might scrap this one. Magical Adventure Potion. Hold on. I think I'm going to do full health. I like this one. This one looks kind. Let's give this a shot. <laughs> God, I hope this is right. All right. One, one potion coming up. Kindness, not only in your potions, but in your eyes as well. So, I wasn't wrong. There's something here. Something special. <laughs> Valentine hearts are kind, right? <laughs> you haven't learned your ways from a book. Well, I went to the potion school, but yeah. Most of what I know today came from experimenting with different ingredients. Mixing them together just to see what would happen. And, well, it was a lot of fun, too discovering how the liquids reacted with one another. How the ingredients made the taste so different. Started to see, well, I mean, started to taste the difference. Only by looking at it. I would just imagine how the potion would taste like I had practiced that in school before. Never really learned it until I started to do potions. And, well, the potions themselves are mostly just water. But it was fun to play around with them. Not really worrying too much about the end result. Just doing. Just doing. Hmm. Hmm. That's art. Or at least one way to look at it. Throwing yourself in, losing track of meaning and meaninglessness, and just doing. Letting your minds free. Letting it discover the potion. The liquids are your paint, and the kettle is your canvas. But well, of course, knowing the fundamentals help, but you really make it alive by just doing, being. Yeah, I mean, what I learned from the school, from the books, sure helped me to get started. I wouldn't have known how to set up a fire, or how to cut herbs into little pieces. <laughs> so, I guess, it wasn't all worthless. Huh. She has a very complex blink animation. I... I've been searching for a place like this. Oh? You see, all the potion shops in town, taverns too, they're always full of creatures. Not that I wouldn't like creatures, but there's something in the quietness we have here. Something calm. Something beautiful. Your eyes are wigging me out, Fan. Like, they're cool as shit, but I don't know what's going on when you do that. If I may. And how the wind blows through the forest, leaving us here. It feels like... Home. I haven't felt this way in a long time. Oh, thank you, Fen. I'm glad you enjoyed here. Well, in this quietness. I want to be able to do that with my eyes. Honestly, same. <laughs> Something I've been thinking that... Sometimes I've been thinking that maybe it was a mistake to put a potion shop in the middle of a forest. But the longer I've been here, I've come to realize that maybe it was the right decision after all. Huh. Fen said that this place felt like a home. A home in the middle of the forest. Maybe it'll be alright. 
Hmm. Your home? So, what's your home like? A tunnel? A tunnel? Filled with doors of various kinds, deep underground. Oh, so you come from the mines? Yeah, well, haven't been there in a while. Ever since the mines got closed, it's been a bit hard for us underground creatures. Every new path we take, it gets blocked. We're lost. Therefore, we've started to feel that it's our time to move from the past and face our future here in towns. Forests. Oh, I'm so sorry. But well, sometimes events such as these happen. There's no way you could have known. Right. Oh, now I remember. The town folk. I heard that they're planning on doing something with the mines. I mean, starting to dig once again. Is that so? Interesting. Very interesting. You seem to know a lot about art. Well, maybe. It's a tricky question, really. What is art? What is to make art? I gave you one way to look at it, but there are many ways more. As many as there are creatures living. And even more than that. Hmm. Well, I guess potions could be taken as art. Everyone kind of has their own way of doing them. Some mix before, some mix right after, and what ingredients you had, how you wanted to taste, and... Ugh, there really isn't any right way of doing potions, just some recipes that help you along the way. Hmm. Just like with everything, there are instructions, different kinds of them. But which one is the right one? Hmm. Doorknob Tavern? Fen, your name... Oh... Right. You met Alaria? At the Doorknob Tavern? Hmm. Yes. They told me about this place, and I... well... I felt something inside my heart. Like a song that was calling me. A potion shop. In the middle of the forest. It sounded something... different. From everything else. So, of course, I decided to come by. And I'm glad you did. <laughs> Alaria sure knows their ways when it comes to talking. Hmm, well, they were the first one who actually talked to me. Most of my time I sit in the corner of that tavern, writing, drawing, listening to what people are talking about, and it feels a lot more harder to say a word there than it is here, in your potion shop. Hmm. Anything else? Which would you... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Would you like anything else? Hmm, well, the moon is rising, but the last one shall be something like a good night's sleep. Something like a good night's sleep. Sure. Hmm. That's interesting. Health and magic? Oh, yeah, wellness, right. Let's see. Maybe herbs? Herbal Potion of Well-Being. That sounds like a good night's sleep. Just throwing that out there. I feel like that's right. Sounds right to me. Right? Right. You know what? Yeah. Play that funky music, white boy. <laughs> wow. God, I haven't thought about that fucking song. There we go. Thank you. I'll save this for later. In case of a restless night. Who knows? Maybe it'll grant me sleep. Or maybe an idea. For a drawing. A story untold. <laughs> Glad I could meet you, Fen. Hope to see you again, too. Certainly. This place of yours. I think it might arrive here more than just once. Hmm. But very well. 
Thank you for your time and potions. Of course. And good night, potion witch. No problem. And good night to you too, Fen. Hmm. Of course. Bye, Fen. I kind of liked your outfit. I just want a slouch hat. Whew. Hilaria. Where are you? You've been away the whole day. Just hope that... <gasps> uh, Hilaria? Who the fuck are you? <sighs> One. Uh, something that heals. I... <coughs> oh! You seem really hurt. Something healing. Coming right away. Fuck, okay. Healing. Healing. Uh. Uh, sour, that'll wake you up. I'm fast, don't worry. Healing potion. Here you go. I don't think I need to rim it with a decorative lemon slice. This should work. Ugh. Whew. Oh, it, it really worked. Laura was right about you. L Laura? Sorry. I think we lack the... Oh, I know who this fucking is. I think we like the time for proper introduction, but name's Mia, and I came to tell you that they got Alaria. Wait, what? The shadows, well, not the shadows themselves, but their king, howling king, the, the elder creature, uh, those cursed beings, but it's not too late yet. Come, potion witch, we need your potions. We need you. Oh. I... Of course. I... There's a... Is there a boss fight in this game? What? And so, Mia, you and your kettle ran through the Forgotten Forest, surrounded by dancing shadows, leading you towards their new king. Come, Potion Witch. Bring us your strongest potions. The Elder Creature... Holy shit. Cursed Elder Creature. Whoa. I'm flying. Oh, oh, I'm flying. Wait, I can't get down. Um, help? Uh, Laura. I don't remember Laura's voice at all. Don't worry, Illyria. We're here to save you. Oh, Mia, my little hedgehog, and Potion Witch. Glad to see you there too. Hi, Laura. Laura, you sure about this? Of course. <laughs> we'll get rid of that curse. The old school style. The Quest Takers versus The Curse. Oh god. What? What the fuck? Oh my god. Okay, hold on. The eyes of the cursed elder creature turn even more evil, hungry, sinister as I see your group approaching the king of all shadows. The curse used the frightful howl. <laughs> Quick, cover your ears. I, I. What's going on? Oh no. It was super effective. Well, at least for Illyria. Help. Don't worry. I'll get you, monster. Take this. Laura used the striking blade. I didn't do shit. But it didn't do anything. What? It's the shadows. They have formed an armor around the creature. I'll try... Mia used the spike. Hmm. But nothing. See? Oh no. We need something stronger against this beast. <gasps> I know what to do. The curse used the shadow slam. Oh god. Mia! Ugh. That Can I brew a potion? Cursed being... Don't worry, my little hedgehog. I'm here. Potion Witch. Yeah? You happen to have something that would make us stronger? Our swords are too weak against this curse. Oh. 
Yes. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Well, one of them is hurt, so... I need to get them stronger. I could just give them, like, super strength. Fuck it. Let's just do super strength. Okay. Spicy strength. This is the strongest potion I can make. Alright. Hope this works. Let's have a try. No oh ho. Got a strength boost. Ho oh ho! Hey, I said that. Take this. Laura used a really big slam. That works. And it worked! Uh, oh ho! It worked. Of course it worked. We have to beat we have the best potion witch on our side. <laughs> but we haven't won yet. Whoa. Where am I? What's um what's going on? Laria! Whoa. <laughs> Seems like they're back again. Hey, potion witch. Huh? I think I have a plan. Could you get me something that brings me luck? Luck? Shouldn't you be healing now, Mia? Just look, Laura. I know what I'm doing. If you say so, Hedgehog. <laughs> Something that brings luck. Alright. So just a lot of luck? Okay. Um. Do luck and healing? Should I do luck and healing? I might just do straight healing. luck. There we go. You get a luck boost. Alright. Hey, beast! Ugh. Laura? Hmm? Hey, beast! <laughs> Take this! You used a lucky throw. <gasps> hey! Oh, wait. I'm, um, falling? Whoa! Uh, hmm. Wait. Of course. Good thinking, Mia. Now the beast is surrounded. And Laria is free too. <laughs> right. Laria? Laria? Let's say that you're. Oh my god, she's actually asleep. The fucking plot point. What? Now? Why are you always choosing the worst times possible? Oh no. Uh, the curse to use the curse slam. To cover. <laughs> okay, this is getting a bit ridiculous. <laughs> this is bad. Oh no. Mia! You alright, Mia? Ugh. Cursed. Beans. Ugh. It's so strong. Elder creature. Surrounded by shadows. Our gear can't break it. Ugh. It would need... Ugh. A spell. That's their weakness. Shadows. They use magic. And magic destroys magic. Is that how magic works? A spell. If only we could. We can't, Laura. We aren't spellcasters. We can't do magic. Wait. We can't do magic. Orb can. <gasps> orb! But I can! <gasps> it's orb! Please tell me it's orb. <laughs> the kettle? Oh my god. Yes, it's orb! <laughs> orb! Orb, is that really you? Hi, Laura. And Mia. Orb. Oh, and hi, Potion Witch. Sorry, I arrived a bit late. No, Orb. It's just the right time. Urgh. Orb, you think you could cast a spell at it? I... I could try something, if it's alright. Of course, yes! Fucking kill it! Anything! You could do it. This could actually work. Orb, do it. Um... Oh, now that I think about it, I might be a little short on mana. <laughs> Sorry. No worries, Orb. I could pour you some. Oh, really? 
Yes! I'll get the potion brewing. Oh, all right. Here we go. I'm gonna make the fucking best mana potion that has ever fucking existed ever, and everyone's gonna lose their mind and, like, vomit all over the place from how good it is. Mana. More mana. What's the, what's the mana thing? Is this the mana thing? Mana. <laughs> we don't know any of these characters. <laughs> Ugh, the most mana mana potion that's ever existed. You're gonna fucking piss mana. Orb, drink this blue shit. Magical mana potion. There you go. Take this. Holy shit. Oh, I. The mana. I can taste it. Go, Orb. Uh. Uh. Mm, uh. I'm not sure if I. Orb! No! Okay. Orb casted. The devastating lightning bolt. Oh! That's a lot of magic from one orb. Rup. Did it work? Day three. Good mornings. Goodbyes. Uh. It's. It's morning already? Isn't it? Oh. <laughs> I didn't sleep at all. Or, well, at least it feels like it. Everything's still kind of spinning around. The shadows, the battle, the elder creature. That was so exciting. I can't believe I got to help them. Quest takers. On an actual quest. <laughs> if you're pissing mana for more than 24 hours, please see your doctor. If you're pissing in general for more than 24 hours, see a fucking doctor. <laughs> Though this would have thought that this would wouldn't ever happen, but here we are, Quest Taker's Potion Witch, ready for duty. <laughs> Hit. <sighs> um. Hello. Hi, Alir. Wow, you have a fucking horrible case of bedhead. Well, well, well. No, don't say it. Good morning. No, sleepy cat. No. <laughs> uh, all right, you win. But it actually felt really um nice to enter the world of dreams once again. Yeah, no shit. You need sleep, you dork. Uh, it has been a long time. <laughs> so you're cured now. Cured from from not being tired. I I suppose, or at least now I feel I could sleep all day. I guess that's the leftover from all the, um, well, dancing with the shadows. Uh, I was just watching, and maybe just a couple of times. I couple of times. Yeah, you got me. But what happened? The only thing I remember, um. Seeing some mighty beast. Oh, and flying around? Eh. That was the elder creature, surrounded by shadows. They had corrupted its mind and turned it mad. Whoa. Shadows do that? I guess? Or the magic they used. That's at least what Mia told me. And, well, it was the same magic that had touched you as well. Me? I'm cursed? What? You were cursed by their magic. But for some reason it, well... Didn't have the same effect on you as it had on the creature? Where the other creatures turned mad, you just lost the sense of being tired. Thankfully, seeing your eyes turn mad wouldn't be a pleasant sight. Mm. <laughs> oh, Potion Witch. I wouldn't hurt you. Who else would keep this place, um, running? Pour the potions. Be my own Potion Witch. Eh. But whoa. I guess that really explains it. Now that I think about it. I was sleeping all the time before the, um, shadows arrived. Hmm. Making me unsleepy? That's wild. Yeah, Mia actually managed to look more into it. Turns out the magic the shadows use is called chaos. Chaos? Like the chaos portal? Uh-huh. That's where the, that's where it originates from. She was cursed with not needing to sleep, that's a curse. I fucking guess. If your wand is active for more than three hours, go to your local apothecary immediately. 
Why do they keep using the plural version of were for themselves instead of was? I don't know. I think I believe there's a lot of there's a lot of typos, so I, I believe it's just typos. That's where it originates from, or so Mia told. Chaos. Magic so wild that you might never know what it does. Even Orb was a bit confused. The cure the cure to narcolepsy is dark magic. Good to know. The wizard? He arrived just after you collapsed asleep. Is it a typo? They keep doing it. Maybe that's correct. Translation is probable. That also might be it. Maybe maybe they are plural. I have no idea. <laughs> But it was also he who managed to bottle some of that stuff with some spell casting. He transformed the magic into liquid. And guess what? What? No way. I got some of it. Wow, that looks fucking spooky as shit. Whoa. <laughs> what are we waiting for? One um potion, please? And I would like some of this chaos stuff in it. <sighs> Alright, let's see now. Something with chaos. Chaos, chaos. Um. Um. When you eat a lemon. What do you wish for, mortal? Wealth? Eternal life? I'm tired. <laughs> Ooh. Potion of invisibility. Here you go. Alright. One potion of invisibility coming up. Invisibility? Wait. Does that mean... <laughs> Let's find out. Alright. Here we go. Just the bottle turns invisible. Huh. So... Oh. <laughs> Malaria? What? Wh Where did you go? I'm here. Where? Right here. Like, um, here? Wait. You can't see me. Uh... Wait. Okay. So you see where I'm pointing at. Okay, now follow my, um, hand? Now, you see where I'm pointing at now? I'm in this place. Like, right here. Alaria, in front of you. Alaria, like, um, eh, huh? I can't see your hand. Oh. Well, that makes this a little bit hard. Wait, so you're really still there? In front of me? At least that sounds like you're talking from there. Here I am. Nah. Oh, so it works. Right. The only thing is, now that I gave it another look, I can't see myself either. Where are my hands? Where am I? Um. Oh, okay. Thank God it didn't last that long. Um. I'm back? I'm back. Uh. Welcome back, Galeria. That was wild. Visibility. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you for the potion. Hmm. No problem. Hmm. But, wait. So, I was wondering, what exactly happened afterwards? Yeah, I see that they get a particle cloud. It's like Minecraft invisibility. It's so dumb. <laughs> after all the stuff. Oh, right. After the battle. Let's see now. So after Orb casted the Devastating Lightning Bolt, the shadows just kind of surrendered? It was a good thing that you fell on the ground. The Lightning Bolt could have hit you too. Thankfully it didn't. But for the shadows, it was too much. And so they left the Elder Creature alone. We carried... Oh, I did not mean to just belch there. I'm so sorry. We carried it to the Doorknob Tavern where it could rest. I need water. Where Mia started to inspect its wounds. And after some time, we got them healed too. It was like an hour or so. And the elder creature was as healthy as ever. So, me and Laura took it with them. I started their journey back to where it all begun. The northern woods. And, well, they promised to visit us as soon as they're able to. Which might take a while. But we're not in a hurry. <sighs> right. <sighs> so, um, 
What about the wizard guy? Orb! Oh, right! After the defeat, the Shadows were kind of sorry for all this mess. They had discovered the Chaos Magic by accident and weren't really that sure how to use it. Which then ended up putting the Elder Creature under a curse, so Orb started to help them research it. To find every detail possible. It's such a new source of magic. There are no books written about it, or any information anywhere, really. Right. Uh-huh. So, what Orb is doing now might be something really important. <laughs> oh, and we met Fan and Spruce, too. They had heard weird sounds coming from the woods and decided to check them out. <laughs> they helped us carry the elder creature back to the tavern. Couldn't have done that without their help, really. Afterwards, Spruce had to leave, though. But he provided us with some healing tools and said goodbye. Wasn't sure really where his path, was, his path was leading, but he promised to visit us sometime if possible. On the other hand, Fan is coming here today. She might become our regular customer. <laughs> oh, and Darrow too. And the bros. They're coming to visit this place too. Turns out all of them are in need of some silence and rest. And a comfy place like ours would really do really work for them. And Fan even promised to teach them some writing and drawing. They seem really excited about that. <laughs> oh, Alaria? You know what? I think it's going to be a really nice week ahead. Here. In the middle of the forest. In a lonely people potion shop. I think it'll be alright. Right? Alaria? Alaria? Oh, Alaria. My little sleepy cat. <laughs> Well, that was just a fucking cute game. Made in a month for the care package bundle using Game Maker Studio 2. It was a game? I didn't realize it was like a little game jam game. The art style, I fucking absolutely adored the art style to pieces. Inspired by Valhalla, yep, Coffee Talk, and My Potion Shop. I have not heard of those other two. Yep, Time to Play said it was about um, two to three. When is Sheep going to make their own game? I have considered it. I don't think my art style is uh, quite developed enough yet. But I have definitely considered making a silly kind of short game kind of like this. So that you're playing both those other games? I played Valhalla. I don't think I've played Coffee Talk. What were the other two? It was Coffee Talk and something else. Coffee Talk and Potion Shop, I think. This was cute. This was real cute. My Potion Shop. You know what? We will we will add those to the list of things to do. But now, it's fucking time. You can now access the free mode by loading the save again. What is the free mode? Just making potions. Day question mark? Uh oh. I guess so, yeah. Oh. Another customer? Hello. Oh, hi. Welcome to the Lonely People Potion Shop. There's more? How can I help you? <gasps> Who are you? Have you seen have you seen my ingredient? Your ingredient? Yes. I was brewing them, but they just wanted to leave. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, they? Uh... Bad ending? Oh. <laughs> that was the... I don't know what that was. <laughs> what? What was that? That was so bizarre. Well. I'm going to test something real quick. 
let's see if it's just let's see what let's see if anything happens when we load the game here. A bit later. Welcome to free mode. Make as many potions as you like. You can always return to the menu via the pause menu. Okay. Congratulations, you developed short-term memory loss. Yay! Illyria? Huh? <sighs> Hi, Illyria. <laughs> You're still sleeping? Don't worry. You can rest today if you want to. Nah, it's... Um, alright. So, what's up? I was thinking of trying out some recipes today before we opened the doors. And thought that, well, you could maybe taste them if you wanted to. Oh. Hmm. Sure. Always ready for some potion testing. All right. Thank you, Illyria. You just relax and I'll get the potions brewing. You do you, potion witch. <laughs> I, I don't... I That post credit screen, I was like, is that fucking sewer slut? Like, what's going on here? <laughs> Who is that person? Okay. What is this potion? Spin the spoon! Alright, I guess we'll just figure out what all the chaos potions do and then we'll probably stop. Alright, strength plus chaos. Void potion. Oh, there's like a creature in there. Alright. One void potion. Void potion. Alright. Hmm. Oh god! The void! Hmm. I... Laria? <laughs> Darkness. Surrounding. Eating. Forming. Reforming. Into something new. Into a world beneath all. Watching. Learning. Eating. Eating. Eating! Laria? And a child, and, um, a creature with a mask of some sort, holding hands together there in silence. And it rains black water drops, and, and it doesn't stop. The rain, it keeps on going, hitting on the ground, piece by piece, tearing our world apart. Illyria, upside down at the end of nowhere, and it spins to dimensions unexplored, unseen, forgotten. <laughs> God slam poetry! Yes! Aurelia? <laughs> that was, um... Well, it, it at least tasted nice. Thank you for the potion. Uh... No problem. Eh. Writes down goth GF potion. Posh. <laughs> so another one? Eh, sure. What the fuck? Oh, you know what I haven't done? That'll be the finale. We'll do the double chaos potion as like the last thing. Alright. Um, let's do sugar in this one. Mix it with a spoon. Mix it with a spoon. Mix it with. Mix it with. Mix it with a spoon. We're just drinking it to see what it does. Ooh, potion of wild magic. That could only go well. Chaos, chaos potion is gonna be the last thing we do. One wild magic potion coming up. Oh, can't wait. <laughs> Mmm. The... this taste. I... um... Valeria? What? This... this feels odd. What's going on? Whoa! <laughs> it's wild magic. It alters the world in any way it likes. Whoa. My hair. My... um... clothes. Whoa. Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! Wait. Oh! What? My eyes. So many of them. I can see, like, um, everything? The floor. The ceiling. You. And... Well, that's about it. 
No. Wait. It's happening again. I can feel it. Changing! <laughs> I can't. This bit is hard to do. Oh, God. It feels like... Like... Like I'm a character from a... Um... <laughs> what the fuck? It's over? No. Oh. Whoa. That was wild. Wild magic. <laughs> Thank you for the potion. Hmm. No problem. So another one? Oh, my stomach's full. There's too many potions. All right. More fucking chaos. How are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Have we done this one? I think we've done Chaos and Luck before. This is invisibility, right? Okay, alright. Get out of here. Okay. Harry Potter, I'm pissing in the cauldron! Alright, let's see what this one is. Um... Spices! Spice, 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 spice. Let's just put the entire fucking pepper shaker in here. What could possibly go wrong? I'm so ready for Chaos Chaos. It's gonna be so stupid. Spicy coffee? I think I ruined this. <laughs> this fucking spicy coffee! Eh! <laughs> I put some cayenne and some black coffee. Take a fucking slurp. One, um... One coffee. Coming up. Coffee. C coffee. Y yeah. Coffee. Well, uh... I think that... Maybe just... Let's not touch it. Let's not... Um... Yeah. It can be evil. It sure looks evil. And smells... Evil. Um, evil smells and chaos. Chaos, coffee. Very chaotic. Yeah. C coffee. Chaotic coffee. Shouldn't touch it. Nope. Never. No, no. Don't touch the coffee. Do not. Do not touch it. Yep. Y yeah. So, another one? Sure. <laughs> I didn't realize that fucking... <laughs> I didn't realize coffee was a controlled substance. This is this a reference to one of the other games? Maybe. Alright, everyone. Chaos, chaos. This is the last potion we're making, then I'm gonna dip. Oh, man. Um, let's do the runes. I like the runes a lot. Chaos, chaos. I should raid Revy. I will raid Revy. Magical chaos potion. All right, one chaos potion coming up. Thanks. Let's try this. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm like actually hiccuping. What? What? Wait. P potion witch. Huh? Is, is everything alright? Wow. I. Um. Where am I? Is this. This is the. The chaos portal. I. I think I can see through it? Oh. Of course. It, it was the chaos potion after all. <laughs> wow. Everything is breaking down, collapsing. There are worlds, thousands of them, flying towards, um, something. It looks like some kind of scrapyard. Everything is breaking, spinning around, buildings, breaking into little pieces, being built again by the, um, wind? It's so windy here. The air, the everything. It's being sucked into that place, that place in the middle. 
Wait, there's something there. Two creatures. They are, um, holding hands in silence. And now it's, it's all getting dark. Real dark. Whoa. I almost can't see. I, um. Space weed. That was, um, so wild. Whoa. Got to see through the por- oh, I got to see through the portal. I've been fucking up their voices so much, I'm so sorry. <laughs> now give it the potion. Whoa. <laughs> no problem. So, another one? Eh, sure. I think that's it. That is all of the potions. I guess we didn't really try- I think we did everything. Yeah, those were the same people she described with the goth potion. Which was very odd. But, hold on. We have some... We have some important things to do. Hold on. This is super important. I need to do something real quick. I hope everyone's ready. For the fucking thing. <laughs> I hope everyone's ready. Fucking... <laughs> it's here! It's here! Uh, hold on. Is this the wrong chat? Oh, wait. This is the right chat. Alright, there we go. Hi, everyone. Welcome to my desktop. It's the spreadsheet. It's the spreadsheet. Alright, so we just played... What the fuck was this game called? Lonely People Potion Shop. Okay. Oh, I can't spell lonely. Lonely People Potion Shop. Personal interest. Yes, this is why I picked it out. Chat interest. Invalid, because I picked it out without doing that. Already played. Completed. Additional notes. Uh, no additional notes. Opinion. Very cute. Recommended. Recommended? How do you spell recommended? I don't know. Okay, and we had some chat requests this stream, I believe, too, um, that were related to this game. Uh, it was the other games that were there. Window Hero, you remember them, I think, because you typed them in chat. I can actually scroll up in chat here real quick. Hold on. Um... Uh, what was it? One of them was like my potion, or what was it? Uh, potion craft. Okay, we'll put potion craft. There were like two others too. Uh, Um, oh shit, I didn't... The Falkfire dipped like halfway a while ago. I apologize for not thanking you, Falkfire, but thank you, Falkfire, for the 100 bits. Uh, Potion Nomics was another thing. My potion shop and something to do with coffee. Right. My potion shop and then coffee chat. I think it's coffee chat. That sounds right. So we'll put that there. Okay, cool. Um, okay. Lonely People Potion Shop is completed. I mean, I, I still haven't done a bunch of these, but a lot of these are like chat and I did not really give a shit about them. So they're going to be like really low down on the list. And I've just kind of been like glancing at it every once in a while and grabbing stuff. But that is it for now. Thanks everyone for hanging out. I'm going to raid Revy on the way out. What is Revy up to actually? Let me take a freaking peek. So I'm gonna end it with a with a freaking raid. With a freaking dang raid. Oh, Ray's playing fucking Overwatch. Hell yeah. Alright. So let me fucking do that. Uh how do I fucking raid? Slash raid? I think that's how you raid someone. Okay. Alright, everyone. If you're sticking around, say howdy to Revy. That is it for now. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out. This was so much fucking fun. Tomorrow is Wednesday, which means I don't know what I'm playing. Probably RimWorld. Goodbye, everyone. 
Oh, wait. The raid's still here. I forgot. <laughs> I have to fucking... Uh, I forgot that's not how raids work. All right, whatever. Anyway, but yeah. I'll see you all on the other side. See y'all, some of y'all for the rest of the week. Take care. Goodbye.